All right, what is the circuit for the day? The circuit for the day is a twin T oscillator. So here's a T, looks like a T, here's a T. So there's two of them, so it's a twin T. And uh, I think I've covered these before, but this is a filter. Um, this would be a high pass filter. The AC likes to go through capacitors but DC does not want to go through capacitors, so this is a high-pass filter. This is a low-pass filter because if high frequency comes in, it gets shunted to ground. So this would be a low-pass filter. And a high-pass filter plus a low-pass filter is a band-pass filter. So if you have some band-pass, okay, you have some some frequency where, where it likes to go through and other frequencies where it doesn't like to go through, then there, there's got to be a center frequency. And uh, if we put that in a feedback path, which we have here, then certain frequencies will get amplified more. more and uh, that's what this thing will oscillate at. That's the frequency it will oscillate, oscillate at, whatever the center frequency is. And then there's a little bit of gain over here because this will be a, a, a low signal and we want to make it a high signal when it comes out. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this. We'll say this is C, and this is C, and this is R, and this is R. Well, in order to make this work right, we're going to make this 2C, and we're going to make this R over 2. Okay, so that's the way, that's the way this thing works. You, so it's real simple to figure it out. And then the frequency, Frequency is going to be 1 over 2 pi rc. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Pretty crazy. All right, so uh, what value should we use? Well, we should use my favorite values. Uh, so c is going to be equal to 0 0.01 microfarads, and r is going to be equal to 10k. All right, so let's do the quick calculation here. Let me get out my trust calculator here. All right, so we have uh, C, 0 0.016 six change sign, okay? And we have 10K times, we have uh, pi times, we have two times and one over that. This thing should oscillate at 1.6 kilohertz. Okay, so there's our calculation, 1.6 kilohertz. And um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and put some values over here too. Um, 1K and I happen to have 110K over here. We need some gain. So 110K and 1K. So yeah, let's take a let's take a gander and see what all this does. All right. Uh, so here's my circuit. Uh, this is my uh, capacitor, capacitor, resistor. And in order to get half of R, I just put two R's in parallel. And over here, in order to get two C, I just put two C's in parallel. So I've just got 10 K's and 0.01's and there's my circuit. And I'm using a, um, doesn't really matter what you use, but this is a TLO82 uh, and plus or minus 12 volts. All right, so let's see what we got. And look at that, it oscillates. And it's a very nice sine wave too. Yeah, very nice sine wave. Um, and what is it oscillating at? 1.68 kilohertz. What do we expect? 1.6, 1 1.6, 1 1.68, pretty good. Remember these are 5% resistors and 20% capacitors and <laughs> yeah, that's, there you go, looks, looks pretty good. I'm actually impressed with the uh, shape of the sine wave there, it looks very, very nice, so. All right, for all of you engineers who are yelling at the screen, it's not a bandpass filter. You're absolutely right. I explained it in simple terms, um, but what's going on is a little more complicated. So let's go to the next step. The next step is I said that the, uh, the twin T uh, looked like a bandpass filter, and that's not actually true, okay? It looks like a notch filter, so it looks like this instead, okay? looks like a notch filter. If I, if I explained it this way, you would have been confused. So I, I did it the, the other way. And that's kind of way my brain works anyway, but it is a notch filter, okay? So notch filter. So how, how does the notch filter work? Remember we had a, a low pass filter, 
right? And we had a high pass filter. So there's our high pass, there's our low pass. Together they do this notch thing. You go, well, you're not going to get any signal at all there, so the thing's not going to oscillate. And that's why I like to explain it this way first, okay? All right. What we have to know, there's a, there's a, there's a real concept in op amps that you really, really should, should learn. And that is, uh, if you have this feedback path over to the negative terminal, okay, then anything you put in the feedback path gets put upside down, okay? So if you put a capacitor here, it kind of looks like an inductor. If you put an inductor here, it kind of looks like a capacitor. There's all kinds of weird things that happen. Well, one of the things that happens is if you put in the feedback path a notch filter, okay, let, let's, think, let's think about that, okay? Well, this thing here, all right, the feedback path reduces the signal Okay, it feeds back to the input and it cancels things out. Okay, so what's going to be canceled the most? Well, where you have high values here, where the where the filter, well, the, where the filter uh, passes, that's when you have the most negative feedback. Okay, and when you have the most negative feedback, it kills uh, any 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 gain you're going to have. Okay. Well, what if you have a very high resistance, okay? So let's say this input, just, just for thinking reasons, let's say you have a 1K input here. And here, where it's passing, maybe it acts like a 1 ohm resistor, okay? So now you have a 1K and a 1 ohm. You're going to have a real low voltage out here, okay? But where you have a notch filter is where you are like you have a very high resistance, and maybe it looks like you have a one megaohm resistor here, okay, where the notch is. So it's like having a resistor here that is changes with frequency. At low frequencies, it's a low value resistor. At high frequencies, it's a low value resistor. But where the notch is, it's a high value resistor. So let's say it's 100K, right? So now we have a gain of 100 in the system and that's where it's going to have the biggest amplification. And that's why it's going to oscillate where this notch is. Okay. All right. So uh, stop yelling at the screen. I know what I'm doing, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, it is a notch filter. It's not a bandpass filter. But for just general concept re reasons, uh, it's nice to think of it as a bandpass because that's sort of what it ends up being in the long run. In the short term, though, it is built out of a... Uh, a notch filter and a negative feedback path that flips it up. This is kind of a phase shifting thing if you want to do the math on it. Um, but uh, I kind of like to think of it just as the filter thing. All right, there we go. Circuit of the day is a twin T oscillator. <laughs>